and maybe the CSS types, and then you need additional installations to the to the. Then after that installation is done, then you can start the npm start, and and now I'll go back to the the presentations. Where we are, so that means here the when you you build your projects, this is a standard. Um, you can npm start, and then you have the build the ng generate the the services that you can uh, pull, uh, the pull full directory and the name of the service says you can build the components even though you can ng classes and then interfaces and the start or ng sarp that's the enough so you have to go to the root directory where the project is located and you run the project i will show you detail when the uh, when the, the project is imported into the the visual studio code and i will show you detail how it works so it's the project structure. You see the the really standard project structure from the from the from the Angular uh, or, or TypeScript based project structure. You see the node modules for all dependency injected. Your SRC folder and the, all the respective uh, uh, respective um, uh, configurations and the resource allocations and proxy JSON files and then those the all configuration to the to the to, to run the replication or to 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 inject your dependencies. I will show you detail in the, in the in the and this is the the when the U project is is imported to the uh, Visual Studio Code IDE and then you see the pictures and let's have a talk a little bit uh, more about the, the 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 installations and import of the projects and how can you start the developments and and here's the I can, I can say here the presentation level thank you just uh, subscribe to my my channels uh, our channels. Uh, we are working group together our channels and then sh uh, and, and share um, share our our concept and your concept make you make a better products just subscribe to the channel and write down some commands to 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 do better improvement and and, and let's have a, a start the developments part So if you see the, the if I go to the here, just simply you can go to the, the in, in, in um, Visual Studio uh, tools and you can go to open folder and then you just select it, this the, the folders and it's automatically open the projects into the your Visual Studio code. For I already did it, this one, the Visual Studio code. So the if after inputting the the projects, you, the, you need to be you need to be clear this this part of the structure of the application the the, the projects. So it has app folders and app folder has a really really uh, uh, three standard files like HTML that you view files the template files, and then you have the the CSS. I use in SCSS. This is still the same, and then you have the app apps file the the typescript class files and then this is the all implementation is there if you look for that one i will i will go you detail the every part of the implementation how can you start the uh, the, the implementations and uh, just like that the structure how it works this is the, just the most important folder structures uh, the project structure you need to be get clearly so this is the template for the the, the main template for the application will start from here and then this is the the global CSS files for the complete applications, and then you have the independent independent CSS that I will show you later. Discuss it in this part of the application, and we have the important one. This is the the app modules uh, app modules TS, uh, TS file the class files. So this is all the dependent depend dependency and all the declaration of your components uh, means this for for the, for this case for the this small project case we have been like the home components about components service components product components and and so the new components and 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 so map component if you could look this one so this the each each of the they may you know, distance each of the components and the map itself is one components applications that's i mean the components so you can how many components need? Just you build it component as far as they said in the in the in the, in the presentation. The sim very simple commands to build the, the components. So all the components. When you build command, write down these commands. That's meant automatically build the components. And there's components in inside the this folder. Let's let's discuss this one. So this is the, all the components dependency or declarations 
and all the inputs uh, that you need to run the your application and this is the your service provider because we have needed one service to to, to for somehow we need one service here so we need to inject the, uh, the provider for these services you can do different way that doesn't matter how you can handle it but I here I show you just for the what I have it here so project structure so this is the most important part of the application you see the the angular JSONs. it is maintaining the all the dependencies and the resource or resource and assets for assist information if you go to the assets you see the css deplet css and then other css files this is the all the information then in in your dependency injections even though all the styles style sheets and your resource allocation for the uh, for for the complete applications and you have to see the the information for the all the project information the deplet projects how many versions you have and all dependency uh, information which versions and as it is this is the most important uh, uh, most important um, configurations files and, and then if you have a new dependency you need to be uh, installed then you have installed the npm install and it's automatically inject the these two files, the dependency, or configure the automatically these two two files. So package does this, this one. You have to see the same thing is here. So if you see the applications is running, uh, I did a little bit change here. So this is all the dependency information, which uh, which Angular version you are, which core, which uh, which Node.js version, which uh, RxJS version, June version, Leaflet versions, Core.js versions, all dependencies here. So this is the as like Java, so we have the Java import and then all the dependence injected in the class path or or in Maven or Gradle. They depend uh, is here for this case. The, everything is contained by the package.json folder for Angular and TypeScript based projects. So additionally, I because I said that this is the the the, the enterprise level applications. It has a lot of microservice called. I just registered the proxy JSON files. I, when I need it, just I call the microservices from here and build a respective UI. That's I said here. So the respective UI for for all the UI for building this one. That's why I, I the extra pro, the proxy and when the just follow the screen customer number thirty six. There is a all detailed discussion. Uh, how can you implement those the, the customized and REST APIs to to do this good operation and other functionalities. That's I mean. So, okay. That that means we have the project stacks are like in the in the app folders. We have everything resource folder, app folder. Then we have divide the Node.js modules. So all dependence injected e to e is automatically when you create the Angular CLI. Don't create the projects. It automatically structure the 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 projects. But when they automatically create the structure, this is the the default default files is automatically generated application the component HTML and CSS file TypeScript files and then and then your modular files this all the and the set folder you have you need additional resources or language translation just you put it all the resources here then the set folder and then you call the set folder from the your program code and then implementations so and then here the the all inform uh, the dependency injection configuration and proxy configuration for, for your complete projects. So now we, we, we understand the, how the, you install the, the Node.js, you need the Angular CLI, and then you start your how many components you need, uh, other, other leaflet dependency installation that you can continue with. Now we start the, our real implementations. So that means we start because I, I don't like to complicate the this 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 really small projects the the geo part projects as like this one this is the really complicated if I go this is this projects new window <coughs> it's it's take times uh, let's see. Uh, I, I was just showing you the older project how complex is it. How, how 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 many components I used uh, for these projects? So, I know we can go this way. The 